This is Gene Key for SkyServe News. KBUE.com reports a woman was killed Monday morning after being hit by a truck while she sat at a bus stop. The accident happened just before 6 a.m. Monday in the 2400 block of West Woodlawn. The driver of a car said his vehicle was struck by a truck that ran a red light. The truck then hit the woman on the bus bench. She was in her early 30s. A woman in the truck was also hurt. Her condition has not been released. The two drivers are expected to be fined. San Antonio police have detained the truck driver. Investigators said that they do not suspect alcohol was a factor in the crash. The Associated Press reports from Houston, a coal-fired power plant set to open next year in Texas has agreed to cut mercury and smog-causing emissions and invest in clean energy projects as part of a legal settlement with environmental groups. Sierra Club, Public Citizen, and Sandy Creek Energy Station in Rysel filed a consent decree Monday in federal court. The environmental groups say the deal ends any outstanding legal matters between the parties. According to the agreement, Sandy Creek will slash its emissions and invest $400,000 in clean energy projects, including the installation of solar panels on a local school. The Sandy Creek facility near Waco is one of nine in various stages of development. Texas already has 19 coal-fired plants, more than any other state. Texas leads the nation in greenhouse gas pollution. The headquarters of a South Texas volunteer fire department is in ruins after flames swept through the building while the volunteers were at a Christmas party. According to the Monitor of McAllen, the Hidalgo County Fire Marshal's Office is investigating the fire at the San Manuel Lynn Volunteer Fire Department, which operated out of a former service station. Officials say the firefighters were at a holiday party in Edinburgh, 20 miles to the south. No injuries were reported in the Saturday night fire that drew crews from several surrounding communities. The department's pumper truck, rescue gear, and medical equipment were lost. However, Fire Chief Domingo Hinojosa, Jr. tells the Monitor the department still has a pumper truck and three brush trucks and continue to function with equipment. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.